So one of the things that I can do now that I'm working with a little bit of a, a spreadsheet I've already built for us is the fact that you notice these titles are starting to go a little further than I really want them to. What I can do is say for example I know why the caged bird sings by Maya Angelou. I can double click on this cell and you're going to notice that I actually have my cursor now inside of it. One of the things I can do while I'm in here is I can say hold down the alt key and if I press enter notice what happens it didn't immediately jump to if I just hit enter by itself it's just gonna immediately jump to the next cell but holding alt and pressing enter you notice how it jumps it down now if I hit enter you'll see that the entire row actually gets resized and I'm gonna do this again for reposition yourself reflections Whoop. holding alt enter enter and then uh, once again for interpretation of dreams by Sigmund Freud now why would I want to do this well that allows me to shrink this down a little bit so one of the other things that we can do is let's say for example let's cut off psychoanalysis if I click on psychoanalysis and I select word wrap up here notice that'll actually also do it as well that's pretty nice so one of the things I can do while I'm messing around inside of Microsoft Excel is you can notice I have a price and a quantity for each one of these books now we started using the idea of cell referencing just a little bit ago so what I can do is I can actually find sort of a subtotal if you will and by utilizing cell referencing I start with the equal sign I can select my G13 times my F13 even though there's a dollar sign Excel understands that I'm dealing with currency and if I hit enter you see I get the calculated total now as you can guess I probably want to do this for every one of these I want to do it for the 99 cent thing for the 150 or 110 dollar one one of the ways I can do this I can actually click on sort of my 3990 notice what happens I have a border around my active cell and at the very bottom there I've got this tiny tiny little square right there notice what happened when I moused over it my mouse changed to this little crosshair effect this is a plus sign this is a crosshair notice the difference if I click hold and drag downward notice what's happening to my box it's actually following me and now what will happen as soon as I let go is it's gonna actually take that same math equation notice up here in my address bar my formula bar that's what we typed in G13 times F13 down here G14 F14 uh, notice what's happening it automatically was applying sort of the change that we did with it so as I, I went down it went down pretty nice now one of the things I can do with this is that obviously I need to make a total and I'll go ahead and add these things together now we'll do it the old timey way first equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 when I hit enter I get just under $300 so one of the things that we're going to have to factor in is the fact that, okay, well, we're in North Carolina. Uh, Mr. Fuque is in California. So I'm going to probably need to do some shipping. Uh, you know, so I see that we've got only, we've got two digitals, but we also have three actual physical copies. So I need to add in a new row. One of the things I can do is if I click on row 18, I can actually come up here to my insert tab oh, I actually don't even need to it's right there there's the insert tab and if I click on that drop down menu you see that I have insert sheet rows and that's actually going to do exactly that notice what happened I now have a new row I can add in shipping and before I even add in shipping notice my number didn't change this still stayed the same as well it understood that that's pretty nice I type shipping. Well, go ahead and add in, say, maybe, I don't know, $10. I know that's a lot. 
Now I do need to effectively add that in, so plus H18. And so now, notice what we've done. We've added in some new little effects.